everyone, welcome to Rocky Mahuba's channel. I am so grateful to see all your beautiful faces. Happy brand new year! I'm so really looking forward to 2021 and I hope you are looking forward to that too. So, in today's video, I am going to talk about the cost of living in Australia. So this is a continuation video about study in Australia, which I posted a few weeks ago. If you want to check it out, please click the link below. So before you come to study in Australia or work in Australia, you have to understand what the living expenses can be when you stay here. Please note that Australia has the 12th highest cost of living in the world. So if you are visiting here as a student, the cost of living per year can start from 21,000 and above. I'm quoting this number from a website called Study in Australia. And according to them, the cost of living in Australia in October 2019 costed 21,000. So that's the 2019 figure. So you can definitely expect this to go up. So to break this down, your cost of living includes your accommodation, your travel, your food, your entertainment, and other expenses such as buying books, stationeries, and so on. So to talk about accommodation, just to give you a few options that you may have as an international student, you may choose to live in places like guest houses and that can cost around 150 per week. You can also find a shared rental place with other people. Websites such as Flatmate Finder or Gumtree list so many available options for you. And the cost of that can vary from 100 to $200 per week. You can also choose to stay on campus in the university that you are studying and the cost of that can vary from 110 to 250 per week. So I believe you should stay in the university um, campus accommodation if you want to use the library or their e-labs very often and it's quite useful for example the place that you're staying doesn't have good wi-fi connection and most of your study is online um, in that case i highly recommend staying on the university campus because they've got a very high speed internet connection really good places for study area and definitely those campuses are situated nearby the university which is like a 5 to 10 to 15 minutes walk what that does is reduces your travel time and the expenses required for travel from your accommodation to your university. You can also choose to stay by yourself and you can rent apartment or a suburban house from 250 to 350 per week. So other living expenses that you can expect to have besides your accommodation is groceries or eating out. If you're trying to keep your cost as low as possible, you can probably get by from around 100 to 150 per week. But if you're on a good, nutritious, healthy, that can go up to 250 to $300 per week. The next is the bill that is required for you to pay in the place that you are staying. So if you are living in a university campus, you actually do not need to pay a bill extra, but if you choose to stay rental, you may have to pay this as an extra cost. So the bill could be for water, electricity, gas, and that can vary 10 to $20 per week. The next is phone and internet, the most important thing a student needs. So if you want to get internet that comes with your mobile connection, you can get it as cheap as $10 and it can go up to $30 to $40. One of your living expenses consider your transportation and because you are going to the university, you commute almost every single day. So if you're a student, you can actually get a concession card, which means you can actually get some discounted ticket as a student here. So if you're using public transport, your cost can vary from $30 to $60 per week. And again, remember, if you're living in a university campus, you do not need to worry about this cost. Another transportation cost can include the cost of having a car. It's very convenient. It saves your time, energy, and I actually had a car when I was a student because my university was 20 kilometers away from my house. And every single day when I used to take the public transport, it used to take me an hour to an hour and a half. So when I was in my second or third year, that's when I got a car and oh my God, my travel time was reduced by 60%. And it just gave me more time, more energy, and it was very useful. But the backdrop of that is the cost. 
So if you own a car, it can cost you between 150 to 260 per week. And when you're living here, you need to have some entertainment. You want to go out with your friends, you want to go to a park, or you want to go out for a movie. Cost of entertainment can be between 80 to 150 dollars per week. But if you do not want to do that, you can probably have a Netflix connection. Then hopefully that serves you. So that's about the cost of living. In my last video, I did quote about how much a degree can cost, but I feel like I should summarize the cost of education. So if you're considering an undergraduate bachelor's degree here in Australia, it can cost between 20,000 to 45,000. And it all depends on which university you go, what is the location, what degree you are choosing. All of that is a factor. And if you're choosing a postgraduate master's degree, that can be a little bit more expensive. So it costs between 22,000 to 50,000. And if you're choosing to do a PhD or a doctoral degree, it can cost between 18,000 to 42,000. Again, if you get a scholarship, you do not need to worry about any of that cost. When I was at university, I was offered a full free scholarship on PhD. So if you can secure a PhD with a full free scholarship, that'll be very great. So that's the cost of living in Australia in a nutshell. I hope it answered some of your queries and I hope I was able to inform you. I'll put the links down below of the websites that I mentioned in this video. I really hope you make the best decision and choose the university that you want to go and best of luck with your studies. See you in my next video and subscribe.